Today, the church venerates the memory of St. Bonaventure. Um, St. Bonaventure is one of those saints that's sort of under the radar. Um, he is hardly a household name when it comes to people listing their favorite saints. But he was a person of extraordinary influence during his lifetime. And here, you know, almost 800 years after his death, he continues to influence the church by his writings and by the manner in which he organized the Franciscan community. He was uh, born in a small town uh, in Italy and was very sick as a child and almost died of a stomach ailment. And he was miraculously cured. And he attributed that healing to the intercession of St. Francis of Assisi. And this led him on a, a trajectory that eventually uh, resulted in him becoming a Franciscan himself. And very quickly, they, his superiors, you know, discovered he was quite an intellect, quite a scholar. And so the provincial dispatched him to the University of Paris to begin doctoral studies in theology. And he was highly regarded at the University of Paris. Interesting that on the day he received his doctorate in theology, his classmate also received a doctorate in theology, that being Thomas Aquinas, a Franciscan and a Dominican. World peace is possible. So anyway, they got their doctorates and both stunning influences on the church. Uh, many of Bonaventure's books and writings are still textbooks in schools of theology. After the death of Francis of Assisi, the Franciscan movement was, grew explosively. And while that was great, Franciscan communities forming all over the world, the problem was there began to be a lot of confusion as to what was the intentions of St. Francis himself. You know, on the one hand, there were those who thought uh, there needed to be even stricter vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. And then on the other hand, there were people that saw the Franciscan movement as more of a spirituality, not so much a religious community. And fortunately, Bonaventure was elected the provincial of uh, the Franciscans, and he provided incredible leadership in helping to organize the Franciscans so there was constancy in all their houses throughout the world. He had a great impact on spreading the teachings of St. Francis to the world and to embrace uh, the spirituality of this most consequential Christian, St. Francis of Assisi. And here we are recalling his legacy. And this is a beautiful gospel uh, to be hearing on his birth, or the, his, this is the day he died, it's July the 15th. Uh, you have to anchor your life on Jesus Christ. Nothing makes sense unless the foundation of your life and your faith is Jesus Christ himself. And there can be all sorts of influences that help us understand our faith. But if any of those influences aren't ultimately anchored in Christ, we will go astray, we will lose our way, we will be confused, we will be misled. It's anchoring your life in Jesus Christ that will bring credibility and authenticity to your life as a disciple. That insight was very significant for the Christians of the 13th century, and I suggest a great insight for those of us in the 21st century. You know, in many ways, uh, Bonaventure would be a great, uh, one of the, could be a great patron of the uh, Eucharistic Congress in Indianapolis taking place this week. This sense that Jesus is the center of our lives. And his writings talked a lot about faith and culture. He was a very uh, significant saint in the life of Cardinal George, whose ministry had so much to do with faith and culture. And he would often say, we don't appreciate enough the teachings and wisdom of St. Bonaventure. The name Bonaventure in Italian means good fortune. It was the great good fortune of the church to have been influenced by St. Bonaventure. Thank you for joining us today. 
Our digital ministry provides a valuable service to parishioners and visitors alike. How wonderful that we can share God's Word, the celebration of the Eucharist, and other important words and events with those who may not be able to be with us in person. If you would like to support this effort, please go to olphglenview.org, click on the gold donate button, and then the Sunday giving icon to make a contribution on our secure online giving portal. We sincerely appreciate your past and ongoing support. Thank you for helping us continue this ministry. God bless.